I have Nova Prime. Yes, I'm Captain Kyle, and I have the brand new Nova Prime, who is from the Legacy series, and he's a big mofo. Looks like a repaint of one of the Optimuses, but kind of makes sense because this is apparently the precursor to Nemesis Prime. So I am going to break this out of its box, go through them bit by bit, see if it's worth getting this wonderful repaint for your collection. Be right back. So yes, this is Nova Prime, and what's interesting about the box, which had very lovely artwork and nice pictures of him in the various modes on the back, is the way it opens. You actually slice open the front, and it's like you're presenting this to somebody. Though it's a, a little tough to get out. And see, inside we have a white field of paper. Okay, this is a weird box. A box in a box in a box. We've got instructions and shitty piece of paper. Yes, I have read the paper, just as basically, if you're like too young, this can kill you. All right, let's wrap our gift. And he comes out, he is actually, interestingly enough, bound up like a mummy, but he's in his super mode. I was expecting vehicle mode. Ooh, more goodie. And here we have accessories, I'm guessing, because it's never what I want. How about cocaine? All right, we have, we have a gun. We have these pieces, which I don't know what they do yet. We have these pieces, which have wheels on them, which I imagine I attach at some point. And we have these other two guns. So, not sure if this was a different Optimus Prime or an Ultra Magnus. Okay, so this is a retool and redeco of War for Cybertron Siege Galaxy Upgrade Optimus Prime, which is a retool of Siege Ultra Magnus, based on his appearance in Transformers Devastation. He is a heavily armed futuristic truck. But not right now he's not. Right now he's a mummy. Let's get this fucker loose. We are going to perform this very delicate surgery of removing these wrappings. Very delicate. So they're not using plastic, but they're killing a shitload of trees. Thanks, Hasbro. He has also got these strings all along his legs. Let's carefully remove them from the down under section. Honestly, I don't even remember if I got the Siege Universe Upgrade Optimus. I hope I did, but I don't know. So let's take a look at this here. And Sky has decided to join me. Hi, Sky. How are you? So according to the instructions in the box, he has shoulder pads. Red Bull gives him some wings. And now that I think of it, I do think I have the Galaxy Upgrade one. Because I remember these guns come around so he can be like, Say hello to my little friends. But he looks pretty cool. I like the colors on him. He's kind of a goldish Optimus Prime. Let's go over, since I did not do a review of the Galaxy one. He's got ankle rockers. He can do a full Jean-Claude Van Damme. That hurts just looking at it. His legs can go forward into a kick. Not quite 90 degrees, but pretty close. Oh, well, there we go, 90 degrees. His legs can go back, but if you're going straight back, you're gonna hit this little piece here. So if you want him to really kick backwards, yeah, he's kind of like kicking his feet off to the side. Yeah, he can do side kicks. His leg came off. Okay, that's because this pops on. It's nothing to panic about, folks. But apparently he does not really have swivels. He kind of has swivels if you're careful, but if you swivel it too much, it's gonna pop off. So, some little bit of swivel in the legs. Does he twist? Yes, he twists at the waist, so. We can do the twist like we did last summer. His arms, well, he's got these wings that get in the way of the shoulder pads, but the arms can go up and down, kind of rubs a little, bends at the elbow, swivels out. He's got these blasters slash very blunt wolverine claws on his arms. Of course, his head can turn and his entire upper body comes off if you try to open up his chest, so don't do that. All right, he's back together again. So his chest in this mode does not open. It's been a while since I've looked at my Galaxy One. He's in the case, I'm pretty sure. But he can do some dynamic poses and he looks like a force for good. You never know that he's planning on conquering the universe and gets into a dark hole. A wormhole to the dark universe. I did not mean to imply anything about him, you know, going into a dark hole. And then becoming Nemesis Prime later on. 
Okay, his leg just came off. That's a pretty normal thing. If you mess around with it too much, the legs might come off because this is the super mode. So we're starting with the super mode. It looks pretty cool. I like the wings. A little kibbly in the back, but cool looking figure thus far. All right. Now, to my knowledge, and according to the instructions, you take off the pieces, you can make it into the kind of Optimus mode. So these pieces just go, the only thing you can really do is put them back into the trailer mode. So there we have Optimus, well, I'm sorry, Nova Prime, Ultra Magnus, all kinds of things he could be. You can outfit him with all the guns at once if you want, or just the two guns, or just the one gun, your choice. Let's check out his posability as this precursor to Optimus Prime, assuming the, well, Nominus Prime was next, I believe, if my research is correct. But uh, legs, full Jean-Claude Van Damme, do, 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 do. He can kick forward, just like the other one. This, in this case, he can go all the way back. Sorry, his heels kind of make him go into even more of a uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, so he's more flexible than the man. But can kick forward, bend at the knee, swivels out. Again, just like in his super mode, if you pivot, if you have that swivel and you do it too much, his leg will come off. He bends a little bit above the waist, but that makes for some dynamic posing. Arms go all the way around, bends, swivels, just because it's the same arms as the super mode. And of course the head turns, I'd be very shocked if it did not. But again, a very interesting looking guy. He's got this bit of kibble on the back. You attach those Wolverine blunt claws and his wheels to the back as well. But there he is, the trailer. Which I have to say the plastic on the trailer feels flimsy. So let's check out the full truck mode. So there he is as a huge truck. I think I got him transformed right. Connecting these guys can be sometimes a pain in the ass. And oddly, though the front wheels can roll, the back wheels don't quite hit. So I may have it slightly not transformed right, but I don't see another way to do it. So if I got it transformed wrong, just because I'm old as shit. But cool looking truck mode, I'd probably keep him in his robot mode, probably the super robot mode. He's pretty cool. He's got these cannons that can move up. It's not exactly a fire truck. It's got this thing that moves back and forth for uh, no reason. No reason at all. Just moves back and forth. This does the same thing. I don't know what it does. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's got the two honking guns on the sides. It's got the gun here. It's got the wings folded up to kind of protect the sides of, well, his big head. Shut up, Logan. But there it is, a cool looking previous prime in the lineage going back to the end of days. There's a whole big story about the leaving behind the, the fake matrix for Nominus Prime and shit like that. IDW got very convoluted. But it's pretty cool. I think it goes for like, what, $54.99 or something like that. Yeah, so like $54.99 on, uh, is the retail price. I'll put a link to it in the description. Not a bad guy. Just, uh, yeah, the problem with futuristic vehicles, just as a quick aside, is sometimes you're not exactly sure if you have them right. Compare pictures, but it's much easier when a transformer changes into a recognizable earth car or some other device that you're like, yeah, I got that right. This looks pretty much right. But he will happily go into my collection of, well, this is my second Nova Prime. So uh, I don't have quite a shelf for him, but He'll go hang out with the other one. But while you're mulling this guy over, who uh, is almost, oh, he's like 11 and three quarter inches long in his truck mode. But while you're mulling him over, check out this other video over here, which is Nova Prime from a previous release. I believe he was a, either a BotCon or a club exclusive. A little bit smaller of a version, but still worth looking at. I hope you're enjoying these videos as much as I enjoy making them. And we'll see you next time. As always, have fun and good hunting.